He's in there. Alright, toothless. He's up. Whoa. What is up G Squad? Welcome back to another awesome video. If you guys cannot tell by today's title and thumbnail, we've got a very, very exciting one. We have been waiting for these animals to arrive all the way from Korea for about, I would say give or take four months now, and the time has finally come. It is uh, pretty early in the morning, and uh, we gotta get ready to head out to, you guys guessed it, FedEx, the FedEx Ship Center. They are from a good friend of mine out there. His name is Nang Wansado, and of course you guys all know my buddy Jump Time, Kyung Won Kim, he is the one that we won the Sable Lily White from. Remember that uh, whole little thing that I had you guys help me out with? And we won that thing. We've got the Sable Lily White. That was a couple, I would say maybe five, ten videos ago we won that gecko. But in today's video, we are not unboxing one, not two, but three very, very expensive geckos. And when I say expensive, everybody, I mean very, very expensive. So hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. And um, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the reptile room in the garage. See you there. Before we head out to the reptile room or the garage, whatever you guys would like to call it, we, uh, we can give you a nice little update on Toothless, the black dragon. If she's out, of course, she's been loving her little heat box. Sorry for the people that are doing uh, their lawn over <laughs> next door. Let's see where Toothless, the black dragon is. Toothless is in the hide box. Clean up this trash because she's been so scared of me. I've been having to just leave her food in here. She's not the same lizard as before. That is uh, for sure. Hey girl, who are you? I don't know if you guys can see in there, but she's in there. Hi Toothless. Upside down shot. We've got the puppies absolutely loving the yard. Lucky. You got the good puppy. Hi Marley, you got a little eye buggy. If you guys haven't saw that one video where we won that Sable Lily White from my buddy Jump Time, also known as Kyung Won Kim. Really great guy out there. Now unfortunately, if you guys did watch that video, I mentioned that I had another import coming up very soon. Well, unfortunately, that import did not make it safely. I went through this one guy's name is Ren Kaman, and he just kind of did not, it was his first time ever shipping internationally. And of course, we all make mistakes every once in a while. I'm not going to sit here and bash the guy. Some other people got the blame for it, and it was a whole big mess. And unfortunately, my $2,000 Sable Lily White ended up dying on the way. But that is only because there was too much water inside of the cups and they wanted to very urgently ship and it was too cold in Korea. So unfortunately, my really one of my favorite geckos that I ordered did not make it the last time I imported. This time we went through a different seller and that's Jump Time, the guy who also let us win that Sable Lily White. That Sable Lily White is growing to be very, very nice. And uh, today I think that these geckos are gonna be arriving safely. I don't wanna jinx it here. Anyways, we've got to go to the post office, pick him up, and uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Jump Time and of course my importer here in the United States. That is Joe Gray. Pending pickup. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we've got a little ride over to the FedEx Ship Center. Finally, uh, well, I mean, I shouldn't say finally because it doesn't look too sunny out, but uh, it stopped raining. It's been raining for the last two days. Well, ladies and gents, right there, we've gotten our amazing geckos. Let's uh, let's just rush home, make sure everybody's okay. I'll see you guys when we're back at the house. We are back at the reptile room, and here we are. We've gotten our amazing geckos to unbox. I don't wanna, you know, waste too much time, so we're gonna get right into this. We're gonna jump right into the unboxing of this box. I guess that's not terrible, so. Let's just get right into this. I am so excited, so nervous. That is actually a much better angle. I mean, I would say so you guys got my pretty face and you got the uh, you got the box right here. Like I said, let's not waste too much time. Let's get right into the unboxing of these geckos. Now, like I said, these guys came all the way from Korea and uh, big shout out to Kyung Won Kim over at Jump Time. And my U.S. importer, Joe Gray. Whew. 
Big, uh, big drum roll, please, everybody, because this is it right here. Okay, very, very nicely shipped, as you guys can see. Nice and compact in that box. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Starting off right at the top of the box. This, I think, in my opinion, is going to be the nicest Sable Lily White in the United States right now. That thing is covered. Absolutely covered in white. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Look at the head pattern right there. You got a little hairline on them. This gecko is insane. This is, this is my most high quality gecko, 100%. Coming up right behind that gecko. Oh, oh man. A crazy high covered lily white right there. I mean, you guys can see that yourself. It's, that thing is all white. Crazy, crazy lily white right there. And then last but not least, gecko number three is this little exantic lily white. Crazy, these things used to go for like $20,000. Lid was already kind of loose, so I'll give you guys a nice look at that. Holy cow. That is also a very, very beautiful gecko. Giving you guys a couple little licks to let us know that they have arrived. A, okay. That is all that's in the box. I know three geckos for like around five grand. It's kind of crazy to say, but this is, uh, this is definitely going to take my projects next season to the next level. Let's uh, see what else my buddy Joe sent us in here. Cause it looks like he sent us some goodies. Not like I need it cause I'm already working on that dad bod, but we've got some uh, M&Ms, get some Mentos. We've got some cool little uh, lollipops, like some dinosaur lollipops, which are really neat. Oh, that's really cool. We got a cool little gecko sticker. You already know that's gonna go smack on something in this room. We got some little eggs, Skittles, and a really adorable little lollipop right here. Of course, make sure you guys check out Jump Time. As you guys can see, excellent shipper here. Don't listen to any of the nonsense, but we've got our Sable Lily White, which is insane. Let's get him out and give you guys a nice little look at this gecko. That's the best, that's the nicest gecko in my collection. I mean, that thing is all, all white. Look at that gecko right there. Almost all white. We don't really have a lot of those in the United States here. Look at that thing. It is insane. We're gonna need some name suggestions down below because this thing is insane. Oh. There's a little gecko foot on the lens right there. It's a, uh, whoa, really, really legit. And look at how beautiful these geckos are. Look at that. I mean, seriously, look at that gecko. That's, that's gotta be one of the, one of the highest quality geckos I've ever seen. This and the Sable Lily White are insane. Both of these came from Nangman Sato in Korea. I just, I, I can't wait until this one's ready to breed and I can't wait for that Sable Lily White to be ready to breed because, I mean, look at this. We've got some amazing new animals right here and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little unboxing. I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna go clean some of these enclosures. They are gonna be staying in some very small little temporary enclosures, so I don't wanna hear it in the comments. It is temporary. We are still moving the racks over to the new house and they will be here within the next two days. It's honestly better off we quarantine these geckos in a smaller little tub because we get to watch them over very carefully. Make sure they're eating, make sure they're drinking, and of course, passing nice and healthy fecals. Look at the white on that animal right there. That is insane, everybody. Seriously, I, I am, uh, I'm speechless. The Sable Lily White is just even nicer. That is, that thing right there is nuts. And these are babies, so the white is only gonna get more, uh, more drastic as they grow. So these things are gonna be insane once they reach adulthood. So here we are. We have gotten these little Tupperwares. These are going to be, like I said, just for like two days. We are actually gonna get ready to start moving some geckos over here today. So the racks will be here probably later on this week. But this is what we are going to be setting up. So we're gonna start with a little one of these artificial egg crates. Now the cool thing about these is if you do have multiples, they do attach to each other and they make out a bigger egg crate, kind of like uh, this right here. If I wanted to attach these two together, boom. 
But anyways, we are just going to set these up in each enclosure. Just to give these geckos like a hide. Because I'm sure they are probably pretty tired of sitting inside of this box for the last couple of days. Can't get over this one right here. This right here, a little, little ledge. Because of course these crested geckos, they are arboreal creatures. And just like that, we've gotten a ledge and some egg crate. Pretty nice and basic. Yes, these are very, very small. These I use for my hatchlings. And we got a little, perfect little water cup. Well, food dish, I should say. You got a little bigger one right here. They usually come, it's a set of two, small and large. I'll give you guys some more updates on these little containers when I start to hatch a lot of geckos and I can show you guys the whole little baby setup. My little quarantine tubs, that is how I do it. Let's get these little geckos inside of these little tubs. So first off, we'll start with my favorite, the Sable Lily White. There you go, little buddy. Just like that. Inside of the quarantine tub, I cannot get over how amazing that gecko looks right there. So nice, everybody, so nice. I'm gonna close that one up. That is one gecko inside. Let's get this exanthic lily white out. Come on. So boom, there is the exanthic lily white. Going in there. Almost looks hypo as well, so it's gonna be neat to kind of mess around with the genetics on this little animal. Already going inside of his little egg crate hide. That is boom, gecko number two. These are stackable too. It's a very nice little kind of concept that they made. And then boom, gecko number three, the solid white lily. Look at that gecko right there, solid white. There you go, there you go. Boom, just like that. Like I said, these geckos will be in here just temporarily, just for the next couple of days, probably two days. We are going to get the gecko racks inside of the garage probably here today. And uh, we got a lot more work to do in this garage. I think Hector is gonna be coming back next week. We're gonna be putting some baseboards. We are laying turf. We are gonna put some new lights because this is the only light I got right now, so the lighting is kind of crazy right now. It looks dark behind me, but it's really not that dark. It's just my camera. And um, that is that, everybody. Hopefully, you all really enjoyed today's video. Like, I know we didn't do much, and we were just sitting in the garage here unboxing something, but I figured I would film it because these are probably the nicest geckos that I have in my collection. This really took my collection to the next level here. Next season, next year, year and a half, we'll be producing some immaculate geckos in the United States. Some of the craziest sable lily whites, some of the craziest fraps, some of the craziest exantics we will have right here at uh, Lonnie's Lizards, G Squad, whatever you guys would like to call it. But that is that. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, I will catch you guys on next week's episode. I'll be giving you guys some updates on these guys probably in the next episode. And uh, we've, got a, we've got a big, big, big transfer of all the reptiles coming soon so stay tuned for that video as well and then um also i wanted to give you guys a little a little sneak peek at something not really a sneak peek but i'll let you guys know what i'm doing here i am uh definitely thinking about starting the members only of youtube i mean basically i'd be giving some of the members like members only videos i mean we'd go out catch some tokes at night i'll film that for the members you know feeding the geckos feeding the lizards feeding the black dragon that will be all for my members only, and uh, I will be supplying you guys with some great videos, and basically you guys will be supplying me with food every month for all the animals, all the reptiles that I have, because it's gonna catch up to me one day. I got a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, we've definitely bossed up the collection in the last two months, three months, so I couldn't have, you know, couldn't have been possible without you guys, but definitely gonna drop a members only, and also we are gonna be dropping some merch. I have, uh, I have a Goku merch coming out. It's gonna be, of course, Goku the Chameleon. So you guys are just gonna stay tuned for that. It's gonna be Lonnie's Lizards drop. Make sure you guys are in tune. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on next week's episode. Peace out, everybody.